Hello and welcome back to Banished, ladies and gentlemen, this is the humble village of Yonkers, and this is also part two of our Banished Let's Play. So, hopefully, you're having a wonderful day. Uh, if not, then hopefully this will help a little bit. We are currently at the height of winter. And I have my two laborers currently set to uh, chop down all of the trees, mine out all of the stone, and mine out all of the iron in uh, this area and this area down here with the hopes that one day I might put a forester's lodge down this way and grow an artificial forest that we can maybe one day also put a gatherer's hut into. Uh, now with that said, we'll go ahead and speed up the game a little bit so that we can get through this winter. We have just had a bunch of kids born, which is concerning because we're up to 12 children with 29 adults. Uh, our food supply seems fine. It is pretty much the end of winter and we're sitting on near 3,000 food. So that's not so bad. These farms seem to be sustaining us for the time being. Uh, I would like to get more laborers in here, though. Having a few more laborers would be good to uh, get another farm or two on the go. But uh, we do have to wait for these kids to all grow up a little bit. So that might take a while. Did we just get another... We just got another blast of snow right at the beginning of spring and it's nice sn it's snowing for god's sake can i just have a regular start to spring please i'd really like to uh, get me crops planted if you don't mind how are the sheep doing we have a lamb we have to 15 of 16 sheep we should have plenty of wool then uh but we don't good uh i assume i mean why why do we not we do have a little bit of wool another child Z zandru Jandru Jandru has been born. And we're gonna call him Jandru. One that's that's the name. That is the name of a future famous actor, isn't it? Like you give your kid a name like Jandru. And like it's like Benedict Cumberbatch. There was no way he wasn't going to be famous with a name like Benedict Cumberbatch. So Jandru is absolutely, he's going to be either a famous artist or a, a famous actor or a really pretentious artist. One or the other. Like with a name, with the name like Jandru, there's no way he's not going to be one of the two. Uh, now I am thinking it might be a good idea to try and get another fishing uh, spot set up somewhere. Because I could build a little bridge over here and uh, set up another fishing spot down this way. Alternatively, I wonder, can I build a path over this? No, I'd have to build a tunnel, wouldn't I? I? That would have to be, uh, that would have to be a tunnel of some sort, somewhere there. Can I build a tunnel? Uh, no. Maybe not. Can that be, a, can that just be a pathway? No. All right. I could build a bridge there, though, right? No. Maybe not. Maybe that's too tall. Either way, I'm really tempted to, uh, get another, uh, another fishing spot set up. That said, again, it is early summer and we're sitting on a thousand food. A bit less than we had last year, but we do have a lot more kids this time around, I think. So I guess that's sort of to be expected. Uh, with the harvest coming in, though, we should be fine. We're back up to 1,600, roughly dropping again. We should be all right. I'm not really too concerned about uh, the food dropping a little bit there. We still have two fields of, uh, of peppers to be harvested. We're up to 1,800. Yeah, we're going to be fine. It would really be so nice, though, to um, go ahead and get some more laborers. That'd be really nice. I'll tell you what I should do. I should build the town hall in hopes that the town hall will let me look at the details of all of my citizens, which I think it does. So where should we build it? Uh, I honestly don't know because this, this whole area, I'm probably going to change. I have, oh, we just got three laborers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so that means I can get more farms at some point. We're not going to be getting it just yet because it's just gone autumn. But I have this idea with Banished where one day what I do is I use the resources gathered in the initial town to go miles away. So in this case, like, say, I don't know where, uh, here, for example. And uh, someone just died of a weak heart. Good Lord. Okay, that person just became a laborer as well. That's kind of dark. Uh, but my idea is we build an actual nice looking town miles away and migrate everyone over that way. I think that would be kind of cool to do. Uh, can I get a graveyard in there? 
too small. Really? All right. Um, let's get a little cemetery like there then. Too small. All right. Uh, let's get a cemetery just over here then. Jesus. All right. Uh, let's get a cemetery here. So seven by seven. Let's go seven by like 20. All right. Seven by 15. So that'll be built eventually. We are going to need some builders to do that. So there we go. They can head out and start building that. And uh, I'm going to start working on another farm, I think. So that's going to go to there. Uh, it's possibly going to be one of my bigger farms, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go to there and up that way. And that should be all right. I can continue my path around the cemetery as well, so we'll do that. And hopefully we can get this farm in here. We should have enough uh, people to fully maintain another farm, even if it is 14 by 13. Uh, yeah, that's going to need four people working on it. That's also going to be... I'm going to say... I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to say peppers again, I think. They take longer to grow, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say... What is this? That's uh, bean. Yeah, well, so we'll go peppers. We'll go peppers. We're going to need a few more farmers. Don't need builders anymore, though. So, uh, one, two, three, four. And we're done to two laborers with 16 farmers. Now, I know you might be thinking. You might be thinking, wow, you've got way too many farmers. This works for me. This consistently works for me. I'm going to knock my food limit up to 50,000. Uh, because what I do, basically, is my game goes kind of slow at the start because I dedicate so much to farming. But I get to a situation where I have so much food that I never really need to worry about farming again, and I can just focus on expansion. So that's kind of my plan here. My plan is to um, expand really well eventually. It's just going to take a little while. The reserve of food is apparently low. It's 2300. I don't think it's actually that low. Now, we did just get another laborer, uh, which is fine by me. Hopefully this one's not going to uh, keel over anytime soon. I don't think that'll be happening. Uh, now these guys are out here working in early spring, planting crops when it's snowing. We never have a good early spring, do we? We never ever get good early springs. It's incredibly annoying, but I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be fine. It might be an idea to look into uh, going ahead and also building things like I mean, we still need the town hall. I still want the town hall as well. So I think what I might do is put the town hall there. Uh, which isn't the nicest place for it. But we'll get the town hall there. I also think getting a schoolhouse might be, might be an idea. So I could throw that next to it. But I think I'd rather throw it like there. Because that just seems like a nicer place for it. So we'll build it there. And that's going to uh, eventually increase the productivity of uh, everyone. So we'll get that done at some point. Uh, how are we looking? The reserve of food is not low. Stop saying the reserve of food is low. There's nothing wrong with the reserve of bloody food. What are you looking at? 54% yield, 24, 57. Yeah, so the peppers the peppers grow, continue to grow into summer, which is fine by me. I think the peppers might be a bit more resilient as well, so that's kind of why I'm liking them. Uh, let's get one guy as a builder because there's really not much point in... Uh, committing everyone to building. We'll put we'll put two people on it. We'll keep one laborer because that means if someone dies in a profession, they will automatically get replaced by the laborer. And uh, I'm pretty sure that eventually what's going to happen is we are... We're maybe going to have a death wave. Granted, I've been fairly consistent with my way of expanding. I haven't expanded too much here and there, so I think we might be okay. Hopefully. Hopefully we're going to be okay. We'll see. Uh, how goes the construction here? Very nearly done on the sign hall, which is beautiful, beautiful stuff. I realized I closed that. I didn't mean to. Now, eventually, we are going to need a teacher. I don't think we need anyone to work in the town hall, though. I don't think so. I'm, I'm not actually certain on that one. Uh, eventually, we are going to need to... We need to build this, the schoolhouse. That's where the teacher is going to be, obviously. And, uh... 86... That thing is taking a while to build. 
But hopefully that gives me the kind of data I'm looking for. I want to see like the ages of people and all that stuff. Also, we're sitting on like 4,000, 4,500 food, or we were. There was a massive drop to it there. Uh, but we are just now bringing the, uh, the peppers over from the harvest. So again, we have more food this year than we have ever had before. Which to me, I consider that to be a great success. So well done to the citizens of the great village of Yonkers. And uh, also well done to the blacksmith and the uh, the tailor and the woodcutter. They're all doing amazing work. So, this is the overview that we have. So, nomads. There are none requesting citizenship at this time. That's fine. Trade items. I can trade stuff, apparently. Graphs. Inventory. So, that's my inventory of everything. That's quite cool to see. Production seems fine. It would be nice to see more details and everything, but um, that's 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 no big deal. I think we're all right. I think we're looking pretty good. Nomads can be an interesting thing, because nomads can make or break uh, an entire an entire town. Because what you can end up with is uh, what I'll do actually is assign a teacher there. Now what that's gonna do? I don't know if I've mentioned this yet. Basically, a a schoolhouse is useful. Because what you do is you have all of your children eventually become... they At the minute, before a schoolhouse, your children become laborers at a very young age. But with a schoolhouse, they become students at a, a certain age. They spend a certain number of years as a student and then become a more efficient laborer. So it can absolutely be worth it to put them through school. There is just a longer period of time where they are not actually contributing anything. And that is a very, very... I guess dark and perhaps unfair way to um, look at children and students. But in this game, it, it's as simple as that. They do not contribute anything until they are an adult. And th that's just the way the game is. They don't, they cannot work until they are classed as a laborer, which is an adult. So don't you be getting offended if you're not 18 if, if you know i'm making a point in this game it makes sense and that is a fair thing to say so we have uh four students we have 34 adults we have 12 uh children looking about some of these places um i don't think uh you know what we actually probably do want another house or two uh so let's Maybe, just maybe, uh, we could expand here. We could put three more houses in this spot, which I think I'll do. Living directly opposite the town hall. But, uh, I think three more houses might be a fair thing to do. We'll get one builder working on those. Hopefully, we're gonna see some laborers come through soon. Well, actually, no, we're not. We're not really gonna see laborers come through anytime soon, because we have six students. They're gonna be doing that for a while, but... Once they do become laborers, they are going to be better at what they do. So hopefully we'll see that happen uh, eventually. Now it's late. I'm just noticing it's late winter and we've got nearly 5,000 food. So, and it looks like it's a good spring as well. We had no snow, no no lying snow, no falling snow, no nothing. These guys are straight out into the fields doing their thing. So this is good. This is very very good. What's happening here? Looking at these, this way, these guys, I think, are producing a decent amount of stuff as well. Which is obviously very, very important. Uh, having a look in here, that thing's actually almost full. So we are going to want to get another storage barn. And uh, I think the best place to put another storage barn is as close to the other one as I possibly can get it. So, um, there, basically. And I'm going to need a pretty high uh, priority on that, because if the storage barn gets full, well, we're going to run into a bit of trouble. So get that done as quick as we possibly can, please. And uh, hope for the best. Ah. Oh, no, I, I I almost panicked there. I was looking at these fields thinking that they'd been harvested already. It's only late spring. We're fine. I was going to say that it's a problem if these have been harvested and we're only in 4,000, but we are actually doing completely fine. Uh, this is under construction, which is good. That's going to be another place for storage. And what's good as well is that uh, if I was to put a storage barn down here, these farms would likely use it. So, start, like, transporting from the farm to the storage barn would take a lot less time. 
The thing is, if it's too far away from houses, then the houses can occasionally not be serviced by the storage barn. I don't think they have an AOA. But uh, say you have very, very little food, what can happen is the people right by the storage barn are obviously going to get it first. So uh, you do need to be careful of that and always make sure that you do have enough food. Which in this case, I, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we do. I'm pretty confident in saying that we're doing all right. Uh, now looking here, we did have a new child born in early summer. There it is. Uh, these two houses here are probably, yeah, there we go, another child. This one's probably going to have a child very soon as well. Which is completely fine. There we go. So, that's kind of to be expected. That's how expansion works. You basically just build houses and people eventually move out and have kids. And eventually those kids are going to be old enough to move out into their own place as well. So that you just keep sort of... The families keep growing and uh, kids keep getting born and all that stuff just keeps on happening. So that's basically the way this works. Now looking at food, we are looking to be completely fine for another year. I just really want these, uh, these students to become laborers. The thing is, the cool thing that I've done in the past, I say cool thing, the thing I've done in the past that a lot of people have... Uh, got annoyed with in my my previous series like three years. I say a lot of people I mean like one person got really annoyed because there was only like one person watching it uh, But I would do this and uh, I had a group of friends in college that would play this game and one of my tactics in case of emergency was uh, I would basically close the school and What happens if you close the school is I do believe those ten students will immediately become laborers not very good laborers, like they're standard laborers, they're not affected by the school. But that is basically, I think, uh, a pool of laborers who will become available if the teacher dies and doesn't get replaced, or if you just unassign the teacher. I'm not going to do that because we're not in uh, any kind of emergency here, but... That is a thing that can be done. We were sitting at over 7,000 food there though, so I think we're alright. I, I, I think we're going to be fine. I don't think there is any need to do such a thing at the moment. That said, I would really like to get a little bit more, uh... A little bit more iron would be nice. Also, maybe coming down here and building that forester's, uh, the forester's lodge thing would be good. Because we don't have one of those yet. And we do have 11 students, so having a really efficient forester would be kind of nice. So, um... Yeah, I'm looking at that, and that's that's pretty much perfect for Forester's Lodge. So let's just chuck it in there. And uh, that should be good. That'll be a sustainable amount of uh, of logs coming our way. Uh, I think what I'll also do is maybe chuck a couple of stockpiles next to that guy. Or like one just opposite the uh, the Forester's Lodge. So just sort of a little like 5x5 five five or 5x8 five stockpile. We'll do 5x5. We'll do 5x5. Five five. And uh, I don't think I can specifically say that this can only carry logs, but uh, to be honest, it's so far away from anything else that the only thing that's going to be going to be put on it is going to be logs. So I don't think we need to worry too much. Um, as for the path leading out to here, I mean, really, I I should go with something a little more direct, but we'll go with like that. Um, yeah, we'll just go with that. Now that's not going to get built at the moment because we don't actually have a builder, so I'll set one person to work on that. Obviously, we aren't going to have a forester either, but once these students graduate, we are going to have some super efficient laborers, which is going to be amazing. It's going to be so good having that. I assume you're the builder? Yes, you are. You hit one nail into a bit of wood and then ran away. <laughs> All right, nice. Oh, no, you're the builder. Your health is pretty bad. You're cold and you're finding somewhere warm. I guess we don't have very good... Uh, I don't- I guess we don't really have very- oh god, can I close- there we go, close the window. I guess we don't have very good, uh, clothes for them. Also, I want to point out, late winter, and we're sitting on like six and a half thousand food. We're denied. We're- we're denied for ourselves, I would say. These farms are so good. I was streaming this recently, and I saw a couple of people in chat were saying, like, they always forget to do farms. I don't know how you would do that. I don't know how you can forget to do farms in this. Because every time I play this game, farms, always, always farms. 
because you can do this. Like, you can get, like, 6,000 food at the start of planting your crops. And that's so good to have. Now, here's a question. Um, can I prioritize these roads? I'd really like to prioritize those roads and get them done. I'm noticing some of the roads around the place are being done, but not a lot of them. Still a lot of roads to do, I suppose. Oh, we just got a laborer. All right, we need we do need four foresters, but I'll put I'll get one to start with. And uh, what are you on? Your log limit is 200. Yeah, uh, we're gonna need more than that. We're gonna need like uh, 2,000, I think. So you can do your thing and have up to 2,000. There we go, another laborer coming through, which is beautiful, beautiful news. I'm super excited that the students are coming through now. I'm really, really excited. Uh, let's see then. Should I start building more houses? I don't really think I need to yet. I don't really think there's too much need for houses at the moment. There will be soon. I was reading, uh, again in the Twitch chat, that for 40 citizens you should have uh, 20 houses. I mean, technically, yes, because if you're going, you know, 50% male, 50% female, and they are all in couples, then you will want separate houses for all of them, but I don't want to do that immediately, because that will just promote really rapid uh, population growth, and that's something I need to avoid, because really rapid population growth is actually bad, because we don't have the means to support really rapid population growth. So we want to be careful with our population growth. Uh, we've got a few people down there working as foresters. They can slowly build all that up. Uh, looking at the food, I think we're all right. Uh, having a look at this way. We could put a forester right here still. That is still a thing I'm, I'm tempted to do. But I don't think I want to commit to two foresters lodges. The thing I need to maintain commitment to is food production. So, if anything, I kind of want to promote... Uh, commit to another fishing pier because I think this thing produces a lot of food Or maybe it doesn't I mean it, it produces consistent food. I suppose I Could go for more sheep Like do we do we get meat from the sheep? I don't know. I know we get wool. I Don't know if they actually get do we slaughter them? Do we eat the sheep? Or are we, are we just getting wool from the sheep? I have no idea. I really have no idea. I'll tell you what we will do. We will get another farm. Uh, so we will go for a crop field. We could go for an orchard, but orchards are really, really inefficient. Uh, so we are just going to get another uh, crop field just in here. And another one just in here as well. I know that one is peppers, that one is beans, so this one is going to be peppers, and this one is going to be beans. We need one, two, three, four more farmers. And we are probably going to want another house or two. So let's get ourselves a couple more houses, which can uh, quite nicely just go over here. So one and two. And that'll do. I'm only interested in two more houses. I'm not growing this uh, this population too quickly. I'm not risking growing the population too quickly because that that can hurt. That can really, really cripple you. So I'm being as careful as I can possibly be to uh, not absolutely overdo it with the population. And I'd say it's going all right. I mean, it's late autumn. We're sitting at seven and a half thousand food. We're going to have more food next time around as well. So we have a lot to look forward to. We really, really do. Uh, I also think we could maybe commit to getting two more foresters there. So we're down to two laborers, which is fine, but four foresters, which is good. We could do with, actually, take one forester off and put more, uh, one more hunter on there. That's probably a good idea. We also need a builder. So we'll get just one of those. We also need more vendors. We're absolutely going to need more vendors at some point, but um, we'll not worry too much about that at the moment. Now, when are these these houses, when they're built, we should see pretty quickly uh, people move into them. This one's coming along nice and quickly as well. But uh, we should pretty much immediately see a family move in here. There we go. They're very quickly going to have a kid. And uh, it'll be the same story in this house over here as well.
So that's completely fine by me. Uh, this little artificial forest is gonna grow up to be big and strong, which is good. We could also put a gatherer right here. We could put a hunter. There are obviously uh, deer roaming these lands, but uh, again, I don't really want to commit to having, you know, two of any one thing at the moment. Other than farms. Other than farms, I don't think there's much point in having two of any one thing, since I don't think it's going to give us that much benefit. Although something we should probably look into building as well. Uh, whilst we're talking about, you know, facilities, we got the school, we got the town hall. We are going to want to get ourselves a hospital. Which will treat the sick. And a hospital could go behind the school, which seems like it would be a decent place to put it. Or I could put it down there, sort of on its own, out of the way. But I think uh, I'm actually just going to throw it beside the town hall. So we'll get the hospital built there. Uh, we'll go ahead and just expand the little road there. And as well as the hospital, I mean, a chapel could be useful. Uh, I don't think we're going to need a well. We could go, we could use a trading post as well at some point, but I'm not going to bother with that just yet. Uh, we probably want to get a, a herbalist. Because a herbalist will gather herbs and provide simple health and healing for citizens. So, a herbalist could very well go in like this area. I don't know if that AoE is the healing he provides or the area he gathers from though. But I think I'll throw a herbalist sort of up here. Uh, since, you know, we might as well. So yeah, we'll throw a herbalist there. We'll get the little pathway just in front of the building as well. And up the priority too. So there we go. We'll get the priority pretty high on building the herbalist's place. We have got a few more laborers, which is nice as well. We are going to need to get two builders on that. And I mean, once again, we're sitting on uh, 6,000 food early summer. We are harvesting the beans, the uh, peppers are still growing. So once again, we are going to have plenty of food to uh, take us into the future. Which is going to be beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, we are eventually going to need to absolutely set up a mine and a quarry. I don't know if I've explained how those work yet. But a mine basically goes on the side of a hill. So like there, for example. And you can never remove it once it's placed, but it will, uh, for a very, very long time, not infinitely, but a long time, it will produce coal and iron. And then a quarry is similar. You can't remove it once it's placed, but it will, for a very, very long time, but not infinitely, produce some stone. So uh, you kind of want to make sure you place those in areas that you are not going to be using. Otherwise, you're sort of stuck with it for a while. But, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of how those things work. Uh, now, let's go ahead and take... Actually, no, I still need those builders. We still need to build the hospital, which is now being constructed. Now, herbalists, we can get two of them, which I think I'll do. I'll get two herbalists, and I'll take one builder off the hospital job, since the hospital is nearly done anyway. Uh, storage for produced goods is near capacity. Yes, it is, because we have... Uh, it is actually full. We have filled two storage barns. Which I did not expect to do uh, this quickly. But there you go. We filled two storage barns. Uh, let's then go ahead and throw a storage barn just there. And that's going to need to be pretty high capacity because we are not going to be storing anything at this point. So let's, as quick as we can, get that thing built, please. Please, for the love of God, build it. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be done. Let's get a little road in front of that too. There we go. That was that was unexpected. We have hit capacity. We have over 10,000 food. So I'd say we're doing okay. I would uh, I'd say we're doing all right in terms of uh, the production going on here. This guy has a herb limit of 100. I'm going to change that to like 1000 because why not? You have a food limit of 50,000. You have a food limit of 50,000. Yeah, yeah, I'd say we're doing okay. Some of you might have been doubting. Some of you uh, in part one might have been doubting that I would ever need that food limit to be higher than 5,000. Uh, 
I have proved you wrong. And uh, there you go. Bet you weren't expecting that. I know I certainly wasn't expecting to do it by part two, but there you go. Can we build this, please? Seriously, it there we go. So start filling that with food and then get the hospital finished as well. I mean, obviously, oh, we can get like what? We only need one physician. There you go, get a physician. And uh, the hospital is now functioning and looks really nice there, actually. That does look really nice. Uh, this thing is already 13, 15, like near 15% full. Jesus. We might need another one sooner as opposed to later, but we'll see. But either way, having the herbalist and the hospital should hopefully improve the average health of all of my citizens. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to leave it there. This little forest is coming along nicely. We have so many farms. We have a hospital. We have a herbalist. We have the forester's lodge. Everything's going beautifully for the lovely, lovely son of Yonkers. And yeah, we're going to leave it there. A farmer just died of old age. That's going to start happening. That's going to be the next challenge, is making sure that the population grows despite some of it dying of old age, but we're going to see how that goes. For the meantime, ladies and gents, thank you kind for watching. This has been part two of a Banished Let's Play, and I will see you next time. Bye bye